you might be wondering what this giant building right in the heart of the city is all about. This is the... He about to tear the roof off. Yeah, like, like one of the big ones. Win this thing so we can get some Italian beef sandwiches. Mm -hmm. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with coach Stan Van Gundy and Craig Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. Hall of Famer David Aldridge will be joining us from the sidelines moments from now. And now we'll look at the upcoming schedule for the Jams. On Thursday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Milwaukee Bucks. And then on Saturday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the San Antonio Spurs. And for the game with the Mavericks, it's one that should be a fun contest. The way the teams stack up against each other makes for some good basketball. And checking out Utah's opening lineup, Jordan Clarkson is out there with MP. Then there's Walker Kessler and Hendricks in at the four-man position. And for Chicago, Levine and Williams up in the forward position. White is out there with Josh Giddy, And it's Vucevic in at the five. Craig is a player. How long does the excitement of a new season last? I'd say it starts to wear off right about now. You, you got to start bringing your own motivation to every game, and you need to provide your own energy. And one thing to note, MP has vocalized his desire to be the top rookie in this class. He wants to outdo his peers every time he's on the floor. And MP talked a big game, but... Boy, has he backed it up. He's absolutely hit the ground running and has been showing up his fellow rookies to this point. Al Levine following the three-point attempt by MP. Levine feeling it out a bit. Releases. And it's Williams. That time the assist by Levine. Well, Levine is out there to finish plays, but if a guy is open, he'll make the extra pass. A three from MP. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And Levine launches it from deep. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. 
Utah has gone one and two from long range in the first quarter. MP, good. Nice looking three ball by MP. Proven he can hurt you from downtown. And White kicks to Williams. Back to White. In the corner, it's Levine. Nails the wide open jump shot. Well, a sharp start for them. Three of four from the field. Jazz have gone two or three here to start out the game. And for the Jazz, the last few seasons, Coach, have been a period of rebuilding. Yeah, it has, Kevin. You know they acquired a lot of draft capital when they traded Gobert and Mitchell. And they've since drafted a lot of young talent and still have plenty of picks to work with. And here's White following the three-pointer by MP. To the wing on the left. In the corner, it's Kessler. Here's MP. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. Well, when you have a guy scoring like he is, you redraw every play to be about getting him the ball. And White with the stuff. Explosive move by White. Going right up to the rim. Back to MP. There's the three, and the Jazz, another three. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. Well, yeah, and the defense is going to have to respond to that and chase him off the arc. Now here's White. His last outing, 16 points for him. Giddy kicks to Levine. From deep three-point land... One's a miss. His third shot of the game. He's made one of them. Pass to Hendricks. The Jazz working the ball around now. Here's Sensible. Good in the assist goes to MP. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Well, as a coach, this is when you enjoy what you're watching. Your team playing well and everything just flowing. Now here's White. He has five. And here is MP. Pass to Sensabaugh. And Utah another three. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Outside, White. Levine, wide open. Buries the long-range jumper. Levine's got five. Well, it takes confidence to answer back like that. Something Levine is clearly not lacking. MP looking around. Clarkson passes to MP. And the Jazz, another three. Crushing it right now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. Yeah, we thought this might be the case. You see a few of those go through the net, it becomes contagious. Here's White. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It's going to be on MP. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Utah Jam. Well, the thing about hitting early threes, it spaces the floor and makes things a lot easier offensively. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. Here's Sensible. He's got six, just three to shoot. MP, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Levine. Five points in the game. Williams passes to White. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. 11 points in the game. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? And you were just talking about this, Coach. Patrick Williams, a guy with loads of potential. Yeah, Kevin, he's had to deal with a lot of injuries here early in his career. 
Sometimes he tends to disappear in games, but when he's got it going, this guy has a chance to be a really good 3 and D player. It's going to be fun to see where he takes his game. The Bulls making a switch here. Balls checked in. White, bounce pass. High post, try. Levine can't hit. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Sinks the triple. MP's got 20 points. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shell Ball dishes to Levine. Back to ball. Beyond the arc. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. Utah leading by seven. MP outside. It's stolen by White. And it's ball penetrating. And it's Utah with the rebound. And going against Chicago, their first meeting of the season. MP, no good. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for Chicago. Pass to Williams. Here's the three. It's all in by Sensible. So for the Jazz, their last game, a win against Denver. Yeah, facing that hostile crowd, uh, they just found a way to kind of tune out the noise and focus on the game. Give a lot of credit to this coaching staff for preparing them for that kind of environment. They went in and just executed their game plan. And let's go to the sideline for a report on MP. Thanks, guys. MP grew up in the Chicago area and was a star player in the Illinois high school system talked to him about those times and he said I made a lot of great friends on those teams guys that will be with me for the rest of my life I love Chicago and the relationships I have here are bigger than anything else he's come a long way since his high school days let's send it back to you guys yeah I like his appreciation for Chicago thank you DA that's great stuff I'm sure MP's got a lot of fans in his hometown of Chicago and in this crowd right now cheering him on Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. And Levine throws it down. Well, he might be a bit wiry, but Levine has the strength to take a bump and finish at the rim. MP outside. For the three, gets it to go from beyond the arc. MP's got 25 points in the game. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Yeah, I mean, this is exactly how you want to start a game with a big offensive push. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Jazz lead by 10. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, what we've been watching with the Jazz, what are you guys seeing out there? Just stretching out the floor in that first. Uh, they had the defense scrambling. Yeah, and when you're hitting threes early, that opens up the floor and really helps your offense. The wingman, White and Levine. Andrew Williams is out there with Smith. And it's Ball in at the point. That's the Bulls' five as we get into the second quarter. Well, Levine is a volume three-point shooter for a reason. More often than not, he's going to make that. Pass to Zenzibar. Kicks it out to MP. No good on the three. Bulls trail by nine. He goes one area the Bulls can struggle with, defending the outside shot. Yeah, Kevin, they've been very poor the last few seasons on that front. Not closing out, missing assignments. It's strange because they were once elite in that regard under Donovan. Well, tonight has been the MP show. 
And guys, they have to keep it simple. Just keep feeding MP the ball and keep seeing him add to that point total. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. MP passes to Hendricks. Nice ball movement by Utah. And here's MP for three. And Utah, another three. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Ball kicks to White. Ball is screen on Clarkson. White dishes the ball. Outside, Levine. Down low. Ball, no good. Oh, nice job protecting the rim. Turning an easy bucket into a miss. MP, no good. Bulls trail by 11. White the pass to Williams. A rebound by the Jams. I mean, come on. That's a shot you expect him to make. Kicks it out to MP. And again for three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. The drive by Ball. And Ball slams it in. Got to respect how quickly Ball gets to the rack. I mean, if you give him the lane to the rim, he is going to exploit it quickly. Now, here's MP. He had a career game last time out. Bucket after bucket. Back to Clarkson. Pass to MP. A three. Connects again from distance. He has been on the money from deep. Yep, definitely looking to shoot it as much as possible. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Chicago. 15-point game coming off that loss against the Nets. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. Well, on the road, your defense needs to withstand runs from the other side. And that wasn't the case for them. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Outside, Levine. He's now made half of those ten shots in the game. It's his fifth basket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. MP against Ball. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And we're seeing some big paydays for NBA head coaches these days, Stan. Uh, <laughs> do you miss it? <laughs> do I miss the paychecks? I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, payday was always really good in the NBA. No question about that. What about but now, you know, though? What about now? Well, it's gone through the roof. But look, the trade-off is the paydays are big. But there's not a great deal of job security. Vucevic checked in for the Bulls. Josh Giddy comes in for Lonzo Ball. Pass to Hendricks. And it's off from three-point range. Bulls trail by 15. White finds Levine. Makes it off the glass. Levine's got seven points here in this quarter. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. MP dishes to Clarkson. And a wide open look for MP. Trains it from beyond the arc. MP's got 40 points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. A floater, and it's sent back by Kessler. Here's MP. Up and in on the way. 42 points for MP. Well, he's had a night. This team feeds off of his energy. And every time they've needed a bucket, he's delivered. Now here's White. He's got 13. There's Levine. Kessler with the rebound. Kessler's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. You know, Stan, as productive as Zach Levine has been, you get the sense he wants to compete for titles. He wants more than just the individual stuff. Yeah, and especially, Kevin, at this point in his career, 
It just hasn't all worked for the teams he's been on yet, but he's still got some time to figure it out. Yeah, he does. So, Stan, let me take you back to the 95-96 NBA season. It was your first year as an NBA assistant. And, of course, the Bulls winning 72 games in that season. Unbelievable. They were incredible, but one of my great memories in that season, the day of the trade deadline, we sent out five guys, brought in five new guys. We had to play the Bulls that night. Only one of those players made it in. We had only eight guys available, some guys who had hardly played for us. Rex Chapman had an unbelievable game, and we beat Michael Jordan's Bulls on that night. Oh, what a great story. Well, what I love about MP is he's always working on his game every day, year round. And the timeout called here by Billy Donovan. He wants to talk to his guys. And let's take a moment to honor the Western Conference Player of the Week, MP. And you can see how valuable he is to the team with the amount of offense that he generates. Rarely is there a bucket where he didn't have a hand in creating it. Chicago's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Clarkson against Giddy. Can they get it? And he lays it up and in. Giddy's got his first bucket in this one. Well, uh, Giddy loves to finish strong inside, and he knows how to take advantage of his size. MP outside. Pass to Hendricks. Nice ball movement by Utah. Five to shoot. MP kicks to Clarkson. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got six assists here tonight. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Well, he's playing great tonight, but not quite well enough to carry the entire team. They need to find some other contributors. Now, here's MP. He has 45 points. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. Shot's good by Sensabaugh. That's his third triple of the night, forcing the defense to extend out. Outside, Levine. White against MP. Vucevic setting the pick for White. And it's Chicago scoring again. Well, that's White shaking him off. Creating room off the dribble. About three seconds between shot and game clock. And here's MP for three. And Utah, another three. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Here's Levine. Rebound, Utah. Here's MP. Here's Sensible, and it is good at the buzzer. Wow. And how about that triple to put a cap on their run here going into the break. Finish that half on a big-time roll. And so it's MP making things happen for the Utah Jams. 18 points from three-point range for him in that quarter. That is some serious shooting. We've got more in store for you right after this. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. Taking a look here at Chicago, this is when it starts to get real. You pass the opening night energy, and you're not as well rested as you were in the offseason. Yeah, it's time to show us what you really can do. And let's move on to that first half. Talk about a rough start for the Bulls. They don't want it enough. They're getting bodied up on the boards and doing nothing about it. Yeah, they get bodied up on the scoreboard as well, Shaq. It may not be their only issue, but it's a big problem. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call.
And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him, really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, he's found his spots, been patient with his shot selection, and it's paid off for himself and the team. Getting underway here in the second half, here's Will Hardy's five. They've got Walker Kessler. Clarkson is out there with MP. And it sends a ball in at the small four. White, good. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Utah with the ball. MP inside. Vucevic on him. MP outside. Out to Clarkson. And stolen by Giddy. Pass to Vucevic. To the paint. Here's Levine. Outside Williams. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Levine's got his fifth assist in this one. The Jazz shooting has been wild. 76%. That's just unbelievable. Shots good by Clarkson. And savvy inside play by Clarkson. Getting himself a look right at the basket. Here's White. After Jordan Clarkson's bucket. Count that one. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Hey, Greg, Kobe White has proven he can run the show. Well, he's more than just a scorer. He's become a quality playmaker with better decision-making. But his biggest improvement has been his efficiency. The tray. Rebound collected by Levine. Levine's got rebound number five here tonight. A three-pointer off the mark. For Utah, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, Kevin. Bulls coach Billy Donovan keeps perspective. He says, I used to come back from a tough road loss, go straight to the office and pull an all-nighter, trying to figure out what went wrong. My highs were too high and my lows were too low. You have to realize so much of it is just luck. The breaks of life. Kevin? That's right, D.A. We respect Billy Donovan as much as any coach in the NBA. Uh, but a good outlook there, you're right. Hey, thank you. MP, no good. Yeah, and close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And the Bulls with another miss. Utah has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Good! Another from three. You can tell he is feeling it. Kevin, he's on fire. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. On the wing, Williams. Over Hendricks. Rebounded by the Jazz. Kessler's got rebound number eight now on the night. Pass to Sensabaugh. Back to MP. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. Oh, great ball movement there. Chicago's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Outside, Levine. Not loose. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Let's take a look at last year's leading shot blockers. You don't want one of these guys in front of you when you're coming down the lane. You look at Kessler, second in the NBA, a great defender. And shot blocking is the element of the game that I think he cares about the most. That's where he puts in that effort and energy. Now here's Giddy. Shot clock at six to the inside. Stolen by Kessler. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. The three connects again from distance. And this three-point shooting performance has been insane. Everything is going in. It's been a historic night for him, closing in on the fourth most threes in a single game. And Vucevic kicks to Levine. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. 
Levine's got 17 now. And there's the competitive fire of Levine, getting the three points back for them as quick as he can. Here's MP. Out to Clarkson. And the layup's good off the glass. Clarkson's got six here in this quarter. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Williams has a screen for Levine. That three off the mark. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. And here's MP. Good, he hits again. And he has all the tools and the desire. Now tied for second most 60-point games. What a career he's in. My goodness. And Levine launches it from deep. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Levine's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Bulls. MP up top. White covering. White against MP. Kessler a screen on Giddy. Pass to Sensabaugh. And the Jazz another three. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting league. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. And right now, White red hot. Just everything he puts up seems to go in. Greg, you know this. Good coaches give their players confidence. But what's the balance there between affirmation and accountability? Well, when you believe in a player, that also comes with expectations. So a coach has to boost them up and also demand that they deliver. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Here's Sensabaugh. It's good for the seventh time this game. He has shot seven. He has made seven. Dare I say he's had a perfect game. Incredible. No misses thus far. A major reason they leave. White wide open. He fires. White with another miss. Well, he had six points from beyond the arc in the first half, but yet to get it going here in the second. Inside. Here's Kessler. Kicks it out to MP. Fires from deep. And again for three. Another three. I'm not sure I've seen a better three-point shooting night. They just keep pouring in. This is a top five all-time single game for three-point shots made. And White with the stuff. Well, we've really seen White raise his game as a scorer. He can be relentless at times, like right now. MP against White. Clarkson on the wing. Nine points in the game so far. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Chicago. They can look forward to the American Airlines Center after this game. They'll match up against Dallas. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. And the shot goes in. Giddy's got four points in the quarter. Nice execution by the offense. Generating a good look. From 12 feet out, hit some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Look, if I'm one of his teammates, I just keep getting him the ball. He has been lights out. Here's Levine. The rebound by the Jams. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Pass to White. Back to Levine, to the middle. The layup off target. And so it's Utah. Way out in front. Their lead at 38 points as we close out the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Now let's hear what head coach Billy Donovan was reviewing with his team in the huddle. We should never get 
feet like that in transition when they throw the ball. Those points add up right now. Let's be locked in and focused right now. Hey, Donovan, as you can tell, not too happy. Failing to get back on defense, a major sin in the game of basketball, especially from his standpoint. Yeah, and any time you get severely out-hustled, you're going to hear about it from your coach. And you should if he's worth anything. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Smith is out there with Vucevic. Then it's White. Then it's Josh Giddy, And it's Levine in at the three spot. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Good! Another from three. And this parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. Oh, and that latest triple ties him for second for the most threes in a game. What a monster he's been from deep. Pass to Giddy. Three-pointer. Bangs home the trifecta. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Yeah, sometimes you get in a shootout like this, but you just hope that you can get a stop first. Back to MP. Back when you played, Greg, uh, the offseason was more of a dead period for the league. Not anymore. They, they want to make it year-round. Every month, something's going on. Kevin, I love Vegas Summer League. It, it's given us some extra hoops. It's created a ton of excitement for the future and, and also the trades and signings. The NBA is a 12-month-a-year league. Over in the corner, White. Off target from outside. Well, the defense catches a break there. You expect him to make those. MP outside. The three connects again from distance. And he's outclassed his own previous record. A, a new number for the second most single game triples. Just a master cannoneer. Firing away and making a little history in the process. What an honor to witness this. What an honor to be here. He is quite simple. As good as you'll ever see from long range. But once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. Well, give credit to the screener there. That's how you help free up your teammates. MP passes to Hendricks. MP outside. Pass to Hendricks. From past the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Bulls have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. White. Kessler with the rebound. Kessler's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Kicks it out to MP. Off target from three-point range. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And the NBA helping establish academies and even leagues, Greg, on foreign soil. Do you expect more to come? I do, Kevin. I think the league recognizes it has a big role to play in the expansion of the game globally. Investments being made with the long-term view in mind. Williams, he's checked in for the Bulls. Look, this guy is clearly on a heater from deep. If you're the defense, you cannot allow him to shoot it from out there. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Levine for three, and again, no good by Chicago. For Utah, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. MP passes to Hendricks. Utah moving it around. MP outside. Right wing, the three ball. Sends the ball, no good. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Outside Williams. Back to White. Takes a three. Sinks the three-pointer. White's got 30. And I like how White shot it with confidence. He's reliable beyond the arc. Out to the right wing. Back to MP. Williams with the steal. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Here's Giddy. Drops in the layup for two. 
Giddy's got 10 points in just the second half. And everyone loves running, especially a guy like Giddy. Here's Hendricks. Now, here's MP. Left side, Clarkson. Back to MP. Another one goes. Incredible. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. Outside, White. Launches a three. Rebound collected by Clarkson. Utah's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. White against MP. In transition, here come the Bulls. Here's Giddy. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Just couldn't be denied there. Giddy was willing to fight to get that one to fall. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Jazz. Well, their passing has been just exceptional, and it's opened up the floor for them on numerous occasions. And another thing, guys, they dominated on fast breaks tonight, outrunning their opponent the entire game. Pass to Sensabaugh. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Sensabaugh's got 22. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc, a key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. Yeah, it's always a little risky to lean this hard on the three-point shot. But when you're knocking them down, you might as well keep riding. Well, they have to be thrilled with how reliable he's been tonight. MP passes to Hendricks to the right side. MP outside. Pass to Hendricks. MP against White. Sensibar. And another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Utah. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And now, for the year, this is going to take them to seven wins. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this It was a dazzling game for MP. Well, what an unselfish display from him tonight. Sharing the ball, creating for others. Just beautiful basketball. Inside, got a piece of it. And stolen by Giddy. Here's Levine. Kessler with the rebound. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. Well, the offense has to look for ways to get him easier shots, better selections. You have to be set up for success. The three from a good, another from three. There it is, a shot that puts him at the top of the record books. Well, Greg, he's now tied for the mark for most threes in a single game. In one word, amazing. Got a piece of it. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Yeah, you know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. So, for Greg Anthony, Stan Van Gundy, and our reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.
they win tonight, MP. MP got the job done tonight, as usual. Feeling pretty good, huh? No doubt, coach. This was a win worth celebrating, right? Keep celebrating and it'll be our last. What? The teams that win and keep winning rediscover that hunger night after night. You link over any one game and you give whoever's next on the schedule the edge. You want to enjoy that result? Responsibly? Win the next one. That's how winners celebrate. 